Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today I'll show you how to create amazing pop-ups that blend in naturally with your website. And I'll also show you how to assign each pop-up to its corresponding category and product archive page. Let's dive in and see how it's done. First off, as you can see, we created this online shop site where you can browse through the products by category. We also created these separate product archive pages, each representing a category. For example, accessories. We use the WooCommerce plugin to create the categories. So in Dashboard, go to the WooCommerce Products menu and click Categories. As you can see, we have already added them here. Now, the next step is to link each product archive page to its corresponding category you see over here. In order to do that, go to Templates, Theme Builder. For example, let's go to the Accessories Product Archive, hit the Save Options arrow, and go to Display Conditions. Go ahead and set the categories over here. Now you can do the same for the other product archives as well. Now that we are all sorted, let's move on to the pop-ups. Our goal is to create pop-ups that don't annoy the visitor, rather blend in with the web page design language, giving the feeling that it's part of the page. First off, hit Command plus E to open the finder. Go ahead and choose Add New Pop-up. Let's give it a name and create the template. Now, I have pre-made a pop-up for this tutorial, so let's go to My Templates and insert it. We will focus on the main design concept of the pop-up and the settings that make it blend in naturally with the page. Let's start off in the Settings tab. In Layout, I will set the entrance animation to slide in left. This will give the feeling that the pop-up appears in a way that seems natural. The pop-up has been designed with the category image in mind. As you can see, we left the area above the button empty, so the image fits nicely. Let's move on to the Advanced tab. Here we will disable page scrolling, so set it to Yes, and this way the pop-up and the category image form and maintain a cohesive design, while at the same time highlight the product. Now that we are done with the main design settings, let's move on to the conditions, triggers and advanced rules. Hit Publish. Now, first off, in the conditions section, I will set this specific pop-up to only appear in the Accessories Category Archive page. So, go ahead, include, WooCommerce, Product Categories, and search for the category and select it. Now that we've defined where the pop-up will appear, let's carry on and define which user actions will trigger the pop-up to show. Hit Next. I will use the On Scroll trigger. And I want the pop-up to appear at 8% scrolling, because that is exactly the right moment and position on the page where the web page, overlay, pop-up and category image all together form the natural blend effect we're looking for. Great, now let's move on to advanced rules. Here I will set show on devices. I will set it to only on desktop, because this specific animated design concept is best for desktop. You can make custom pop-ups for mobile and tablets as well. So let's hit save and close and check it out. As you can see, the pop-up looks great, but the page category image is behind the pop-up and we want the image to appear above the overlay and the pop-up. In order to do this, go back to this product archive template. Now go to the image widget and under advanced tab, let's set the Z index to 10,000 because the pop-up overlay has a default Z index setting of 9,999. This way, the image is forced to appear above the overlay and pop-up. Hit the update button, and let's see it again. Cool! Now all you need to do is apply the same settings to the other pop-ups. The design concept remains the same. We just change the images, texts, and colors. Well, that's it. Now you know how to create pop-ups that naturally blend in with the website design language and set them to appear on specific category and archive pages on your site. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and pop-ups tutorials. See you later!